Making a pizza at home could be fun and it is cheaper than ordering a pizza online or buying a pizza from a store. When you are preparing to make your pizza at home, you need to make sure that you have all your ingredients gathered up so you do not be left in the lurch in the middle of your pizza with dough all over your hands. I prefer for my toppings to use pepperoni, non-smoked provolone cheese, mozzarella cheese, I have my seasonings, I use Hunt's pasta sauce, I prefer the garlic and herb, and for your dough you will need shortening, all self-rising flour, water, about two cups worth, maybe more or less depending on the size of your pizza, and milk. You will need to have spoons, forks, measuring cups, your pizza pan with flour and grease so you don't have to stop in the middle of your making your pizza to get your pan ready. The oven is already on 400 degrees. I've already started my flour or my dough. I use two cups flour and a half a cup of water. Now I need to roll out my dough. Unfortunately, I do not have a rolling pan. So I will have to use my hands. Now pour it out, the flour, onto a bag so I don't get my table dirty. And I go to making it kind of like bread. In this case, I'm using homemade pizza, or I'm using homemade biscuit crust for it. While I'm getting the dough ready, I will tell you about some facts about pizza. No one really knows who invented pizza, but it was used in Italy, like as pizza pies, mainly for poorer people. Pizza was considered a peasant's meal. In, inter in Italy centuries ago. Okay, got my dough, get it firm. Now I am gonna get this dough and flour, get the flour in the bag and the bowl out of my way and get my pizza crust pan. And I'm gonna spread the pizza out on it. During this process, you may need to sprinkle a little bit more flour on it because when you're spreading out, some doughy areas do arise. Modern pizza was made by Raffaello Esposito of Naples. Esposito baked a pizza in 1989 for a visit from an Italian king, Umberto I, and Queen Margherita. That was how pizza first came about. The first pizzeria in North America was opened in 1905 by... Okay, I've got my crust all flattened down on my pan. Now take my fork and you kind of just poke holes in it. It helps it from rising too much. I prefer to try to make my crust as thin as possible because there ain't much nutrition in pizza. I looked. You can add vegetables. You can add fruits even. Yes, fruit, meat. Uh, watch my calories because one piece of pizza one slice of pizza can have a hundred and thirty eight calories without the extra cheese or sauce or onions or bell peppers and do you know that some people even put pineapple on their pizza that is way different than I ever now I got all my four coats in the pizza. 
I'm going to pour on my sauce. You can put this uh, sauce on as liberal as you want. You could add extra or less. I do not prefer to make it as spicy as I used to, but putting red pepper, crushed red pepper in your crust will give it a spicier, more authentic taste. After you get your crust, spread out on your pizza as you like. You can either sprinkle a little bit of your shredded cheese on, but I prefer to do my provolone cheese. I tear it in strips and I spread it out. It gives it a unique taste. It does taste a little bit different than mozzarella and if you now the pepperonis you probably about 50 pepperonis on a big pizza if you want to count them you kind of go in a circle formation so you get every spare inch now I'm gonna spread some cheese on and this is two percent low moisture part skim mozzarella cheese I get about a handful. Okay, once you have your cheese spread out to the desired intensity, pizza has been in America for over a hundred years now, being eaten in all homes, either fast food. I like to put a little bit of crushed red pepper on before you cook it so it cooks into the pizza. Put a little garlic on it jalapenos, mushrooms, anchovies. I've got my finished product pizza all done. Now I'm going to put it in my oven until the cheese is melted. My finished pizza product, the pizza at home.